Uh, wow, I was not prepared for that video. Um, that was a lot to process. Um, I, okay, I'm gonna pick up on something that Renetta said. Uh, none of us get here by ourselves, right? Um, first of all, thank you so much for this. What, what an honor, what an incredible honor. Because uh, we, we were just trying to figure out what we'd done, you know? Like, we, we, I slipped out of it, then he slipped out of it, it's still going on. Yeah. And then you guys call and say, hooray, and we thought, hooray, is that what we should say? <laughs> we, we weren't quite clear on what we'd done, so you, you know. have to really, it's an amazing thing to give us a chance to say, what, goodbye, hello, oh my, it's been, it, yeah. this is a reward which just landed on us sort of from outer space, and it gave us a chance to, to breathe in. It's like, what did we do? You know? Yeah, and I, I do want to say that, I mean, it's been, a, it's, been a, it's been an incredible day to get to talk to faculty and students, uh, to sit at lunch and to talk to students about everything Every from Chapel Roan and the <laughs> limits of celebrity culture to their uncertain futures and what's going to happen to journalism in the, the next decade. And so much of that is out of our control, but I, I think what might be in our control, I'm not sure if it's in our control, actually, it could be also a luck thing, is that you get to encounter somebody at that moment in your life when you haven't figured things out yet, but you're, you've got a tiny bit of skill, and you've got maybe one idea in your head, and then you meet somebody who, who lets you know what's possible and gives you permission and um, I got very lucky in that, in that respect. 2001, I meet this guy. And um, no, don't do this. I, had, I, hadn't, I had done nothing to deserve this luck yet. I was just getting started, but they, we start to work together. And um, I get to sit next to him and to watch him interview people and charm the guests and then challenge the guests. And I get to, to listen to how you tell stories and to take pieces of that into my world. Um, and what a world that is. <laughs> but it's, it has forever altered the trajectory of my life. So for me, today has been really about standing in that gratitude of getting to, getting to just work with this crazy dude. Um, and, it, and to speak romantically, which I feel like should, <laughs> the chance, you know, when you're, I'm 25 years older than him and I was, I've always been 25 years older than him. <laughs> And uh, to hear the music in his crazy head and to have that music sort of attached to the ideas we were talking about was, um, it was a gift. Uh, first unexpected, and then when it came, it was so extraordinary that um, I felt that we were somehow on a cloud for a long time. And the joy of this day, honestly, is to come off the cloud and to be told by people who are about to be, and people who have been, and people who are very good at what they do, to be told bravo is a, is a tremendous gift. Because we never really said it to ourselves. We just, um, we just landed and moved on. Mm -hmm. And this mm -hmm. chance to say thank you to each other, and thank you to you, and thank you to you, is um, it's a huge privilege. So thank you very much. Yeah. And I would just close by saying that what Robert was to me, I hope that all of the faculty professors will be for the, the incredible students we met today, to challenge them to, to, to not just to be great, because that seems to already be in play, but to play really, really hard, even when the world sometimes says it doesn't want that, to really push the students to do that. So, that's what he did for me, and I, I hope that that's what you all will do for your next students. So they become the next gener generation, the next version of themselves. Um, but thank you. This is such an incredible honor. Thank you. Thank you.